Hello to everyone watching this video. It's Leviathan here again. And to start things off, I'm going to introduce myself to newcomers. I'm born high-functioning autistic, I'm obsessed with fiction, and I'm planning to make my own creative universe like the late Stan Lee did. For this particular video, I'm going to introduce a couple of characters. Like, I think there's like five of them. And I apologize in advance if you guys feel, um, like confused or anything. I'll try my best to make it work as legitimately as I can, so please bear with me. Here's the first character. Demon Biker. Real name, Joanna Litz. Height and weight varied. Status, anti-hero. An ally of Denstrini. Base, Tartarus, mobile. Intelligence, three and a half brains. Behavior, willful and protective. She'll do anything to condemn the chaotic. Lethality. Utterly lethal when threatened or during a fight. Weaknesses. Cosmic goddesses. She's easily angered. Powers. She has vast demonic powers, immortality, martial arts, and create flaming constructs of anything. She travels around on a demonic motorcycle called the Bike of Chaos, which can travel across dimensions, over buildings, across water, and can be used to ram an opponent. She can induce feelings of dread on her targets with just a touch. Eyes blood red, hair flames, and shoulder legs. Origin Joanna Blazeman was a world-class motorcyclist who wished to be the best in the sport. One day, Satana appeared and granted Joanna with her wish, if she would become a new demonic servant for her. Granted the name Demon Biker, she soon befriended the demonic Denshini when saving the two Earths from the Ferocitars. Since then, Demon Biker would do all that she could to punish every corrupted soul in existence, turning their own regrets and dread against them. Costume. She wears a set of feminine biker clothes. Team Solitary with Denshini and others. Original inspiration, Marvel's Ghost Rider. The next character is the daughter of Reba, known as Reba 2. Just so you guys know. Reba 2. Real name? Robotic Entity of Brutal Affliction. Height, 6 feet, 4.7 inches. Weight, 244 pounds. Status, Antihero, and Daughter of Reba. Base, Default Earth Mobile. Intelligence, 4 brains. Behavior, Caring, yet Brutal. She will always try to decimate all crime. Lethality, Only when angered or during a fight. Weaknesses, being torn apart, and malfunctions. Powers, she possesses the same powers as her mother. Eyes sky blue, hair blackish red, and wavy. Origin, months after her tragedy, Reba decided to honor her late Jack Johns by giving herself an injection that would make her capable of gestating life. After seven months of development, Reba finally got her daughter and decided to name her Reba too. However, as Reba too aged within a few months, she felt that life without crime would be seen as a utopia, prompting her to stop crime before it ever happens. Despite that she agrees with her daughter, Reba would often stop Reba too from forcing people to avoid crime against their will. And despite everything, Reba too would still want what's best for the innocents. Costume. She simply wears nothing official, nothing in particular, whatever she feels like wearing. Teams. Solitary, with her mother, and other heroes. Original inspiration, cyborgs, and vengeance. This is a very unique character that's affiliated with Jama Scoricus. This one is known as Queen Gafilexat. The queen and ruler of the Callisticans, which are enemies of the Janarmicans. Just bear with me. Queen Gafilexak. Real name, none. Height, 7 feet, 3 inches. Weight, 390 pounds. Status, villain, and queen of Callistica. Base, Callistica, Pacific Ocean. Intelligence, 3.5 rings. Behavior, sadistic and destructive. She vows to destroy Gymoscorchus and make her people dominate the seven oceans. Lethality. She's lacking in pity or remorse for any opponent. 
weaknesses, fire and blades. She also has a lack of foresight. Powers. She has five octopus tentacles for each arm, wields a variety of ray guns and daggers, and can flawlessly breathe underwater. She is also able to regenerate her tentacles from most forms of amputation. Eyes deep black, hair deep black, and scruffy. Origin. Gafilexak is the genocidal queen of the island of Callistica. She, in the past, was able to assassinate the previous queen of Gynarmica which led to her young daughter wanting to avenge her death and was in war against the Calisticans since. She once tried to get help from the Sinful Six to destroy Gymoscorcus, but Tyranitar left Gaphilix up, hanging afterwards. She later traveled to the Amazon to persuade the Diana Horde to become one of their greatest weapons, but she almost lost her life in that attempt. To this day, Gaphilixak is still determined to destroy the Gynarmicans with whatever help she could get. Costume. She wears a green dress covering a set of steel plates. Teams. Solitary leads the Callisticans or other villains. Origin inspiration. Marvel's Callisto. This one is a world eater that was known for create for destroying the planet Vercanus, which led to the creation of Captain Slime. Just so you guys know. The Cosmic Crab. Real name, inapplicable. Height and weight, vast. Status, villain, and cosmic world eater. Base, deep space. Intelligence, half a brain. Behavior. It's always willing to destroy any planet in sight. Lethality. As above, it's completely unpredictable. Weaknesses. Cosmic forces and being rivaled. Powers. It has sharp claws and teeth. Great size and strength. And can survive unaided in space. It is seemingly difficult to kill, and later develop self-resurrection through unknown purposes. Eyes, blank black, hair, none. Origin. Nobody knows how the cosmic crab came into existence. But whatever it was, it only has the desire to destroy all the planets. The first known recording of its destructive power is that it destroyed the home planet and native species of Captain Slime, Vercanus giving the lone survivor the desire to bring her home back. One time, the Cosmic Crab discovered the default Earth, and with the combined forces of every hero and villain on the planet, it was transported to Cosmic's lair, where it was finally devoured by Cosmic. However, the Cosmic Crab seemed to have the power to recover itself, making it an active threat to the Cosmos. Costume? None. Teams? Solitary. Original inspiration? Crabs and World Eaters. This is the last character. You know Colossa? This is her mother, just so you guys know. Carol. Real name, Carol Murray. Height and weight, varied. Status, hero, and mother of Colossa. Base, Ascolympius, mobile. Intelligence, five brains. Behavior. Loving, cunning, and wise. She always loves her daughter. Lethality. Only when angered or during a fight. Weaknesses. Cosmic Forces, Rejection, and Betrayal. Powers. She has semi-cosmic powers, longevity, extreme wisdom, and can project nuclear beams from her eyes. She also has mass alteration. Eyes blue, hair golden and wavy. Origin. One time, Goddess decided to have a new creation as an ally. She took a piece of her brain, fused it with cosmic energy, and created a woman that she since named Carol. After countless millennia, Carol met and fell in love with a human man named Howard Murray. After a long romance, they got married and eventually had a daughter named Shannon. However, Carol found that she that the longer she stayed with her family, the weaker her powers got, and she chose to leave her spouse and six-month-old child for the sake of her family. By the present day, Colossa reunited with her mother. And after a long argument, Shannon finally forgave Carol for abandoning her. Since then, Colossa and Carol will do all that's needed for both each other and for the innocents. Costume. She usually wears a green latex suit. Team solitary with Colossa or other heroes. Or some inspiration, Garganta. Well, I hope those are a 
a decent thing, stuff for you guys to understand and such, and I just hope I'm not... Like, the reason why I made this particular video at this particular point in time is because I tend to get paranoid when I start to lose views over time, and I don't want to risk ending up with love. And in just so you know, if you play tennis, if you have zero points in that game, they call it love. So basically I meant I don't want to end up with nothing in terms of no views. So I hope you guys understand. Um, if you guys want, you could like, subscribe, and comment down below, and share if you want. It's your choice. And um, I'm still planning on going to San Diego, so keep in mind the chance I might make some videos while I'm there. Hope you guys have a fine rest of the month, and hopefully you guys would be able to tolerate the next school year and such. And until next time, in transmission.